All right, what's going on, you all? Thank y'all for tuning in right now. I'm an Auto Nation Chevy. And while I'm waiting on my car to get service, my wife came up with the great idea. And y'all already know how I do what I do nothing but the car reviews. So as you can see behind me, we got the Escalade and we got the Suburbans. So we're going to check them things out right now. Stay. Right, so we got the all-white Escalade of 2017. With the chrome trim for 54.9, and this is the luxury package, as you can see. I'm not sure if it's open or not, but yes, it is. Okay, we got the footsteps that came out. It has the nice little piano wood grain right here, fresh bark. You know what I'm saying? And then you also got that brown leather up in here. They went real cheap with this material. They could have did something with that, but I ain't going to speak on it. I love the seats, man. You know how Escalade do it, man. This is real immaculate. You can see it's not too much of a, a crack in the seats, but they need to do some uh, touch-up on this, man. Uh, other than that, man, it's very comfortable. You got a sunroof. You got the upgraded center console right here. Let me see. You got that push start. Got the digital gauge here, the big screen. You know I need a big screen. All right, so you got three. Oh, you got about the eight seater, and it also has that center, center row, so you can walk straight to the back right there, and that's real slick. Like I say, I love these brown seats. Even the headrests fold down, man. Oh yeah, it's not a bad deal. I mean, you also got. The rare seats, like again, I'm gonna take y'all to the back. See, we couldn't see this because we was in the front, but you see they got the DVD set up right here. Got one for the left and one for the right. So if I were to buy this, I would I would have my son sit right here. I had my daughter sit over there and they both got a screen. So y'all can't be over here arguing. And then you also have the AV inputs. You can switch up the source. Say I set it up in the front where I wanna put on Hulu or YouTube. They got a choice to probably watch some individually. This is a nice vehicle. Got 11, man. I appreciate it. Fresh floor mats. I don't think the step bar come up. It looked like it's supposed to, but it's not working. I hear it making that noise, but we ain't going to speak on it. Okay, it actually moved. You seen that? I didn't think it was working at first. And then you got the Escalade ESV. All black thing. This is a 2014, a little older. You see the difference? You see the headlights, you see the grill. But this all black with the with the chrome as well. It's for 26. I think they the same year, but the other one is a little bit more up to date. 26. So that's for half the price. And the quality is better. It's a little cheap when it comes to the door panels. See what I meant? You see how they put this trim right here? That's what they should have did in the white one. But they made it real basic and cheap, but we ain't going to speak on it. Come on, Caddy. Y'all got to do a little bit better, GM. But uh, even in this one, it's the luxury package as well. Sunroof. Leather seats. Eight-seater. You can walk through the middle. You let me know what you like, man. It's not a bad vehicle. Um, And then we also got... 2018 as well this if you don't want to go big SUV style you want to keep it a uh, more crossover got a 2018 Cadillac XT5 all-wheel drive for 31.4 can't go wrong with that can't go wrong at all it's 38,000 miles on this one doors locked so we can't really do too much but I'm gonna let you see it from right here you got the cream seats. You got the Cadillac badge right there on the seat. You got the wide digital screen, regular analog on the cluster. And this one right here is only two rows with the cargo space in the back. And we're going to keep it moving. All right, y'all. For my Honda lovers, man, I ain't even going to lie. I was thinking about copping this, boy, but my payments would have been high. All red. You got the Civic Hatchback 2017 with the black rims. 
got the black size skirt center pipes coming out right there one price it's pre-owned so you already know somebody else had it and this is a sport a little bit of corrosion right there with the s i think somebody tried to glue it back on they probably put some gorilla glue man that was very unprofessional and this is the sport touring and you can see it's not the actual big sport you know I, i'm sorry not the big sport, but it's not the T-type, because the T-type would have had a big wing right there. But yes, it's still a sport. You still get the little body kit. I love the red. I love the hatchback setup. And this is for 22.4, 22.5, actually, for 2017. And it has a sunroof. Man, I should have caught this. But I would have had to spend $400 a month. Black leather seats, black rims, all red. You can't go wrong with that Civic. And then we got the C300 bands out here with the all black panoramic roof for 25.8. And that's a 2017. You know what I'm saying? Leather seats, seat warmers, all of that, all that technology. I'm just call this the technology package. I'm not even going to open it up, man, because we already know about the 2017 C Class. C 300s and we already know what they do we had that in the vlog that I did a long time ago we got the Honda Sonatas I had one of those back in 2012 they kind of made it a little bit smaller man it's over here looking like a Nissan Sentra but even though this is low key fly though I'll get this throw the test on it and keep it moving and for 19.5 you can get a 2019 Sonata SEL package 25,000 miles on that bad boy and like I say this is another technology package right here shout out to Honda because we got a new Honda at the crib and as you can see they got the screen you need that navigation in there man I'm not buying no car that don't got a screen in it but I ain't gonna lie I would rather get the E350 than that 3 than that C300 it just, it's, it's more wide body the other the, the C-Class is more round. This still got that box shape to it in the rear and in the front. And like I said, this is a sport package. It's 2014 for 23 .4. I would say 23 .9, but we already know what time it is. And you're going to at least spend $600 a month on this bad boy. Yeah. Now, should we check out the SUVs? And again, again y'all, I'm at AutoNation and Chevy, man. They did a very good job of getting me in and out. They worked the deal out with me, got me the vehicle I was looking for, and out the door. And they got me the price I was looking for as well. So I can't say nothing bad about these people. They did a very good job, man. Let me just shine on them a little bit. Uh, yeah, so let's check out these SUVs. All right, y'all, I think we just gonna look at stands right now because the SUVs they ain't really got nothing that's really popping at my eye. And y'all seeing behind me, so we not even gonna pay no attention to that. But what I'm about to show you right now is fly. And it's reliable. Shout out to Lexus and Toyota, man. Let's All right, it. we got an F Sport ES350 Lexus. Got that gray. Got that machine gray. That's a 2019 ES. And I love the F Sports, man. There's something about the new series that they got going on right now, man. It's very spacious. Got the leather seat seat warmers. Got that technology package. That big screen in there. You know what I'm saying? Got that sunroof. Big as a Camry, but it's a Lexus. Got the diffusers. Got the dual exhaust. Got the wing. You got the rear view camera. For y'all that can't see it, got a rear view camera right there. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a lot. Got a lot more things to explain. They say it's an eight passenger vehicle. I don't know how you get eight people in a sedan, but that's another story, man. They said it got cool seats in the front, moon roof, lane keeping assistance, keyless entry, Bluetooth, and a rear spoiler. So I'm pretty sure you already know what else it comes with. But again, this is a 2019. They want 39,000 for this big boy. And you see the grill. You see how Lexus coming, man. If you ain't getting a grill like this on your Lexus, boy, you you still living in the 1990s, man. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a bad boy, man. Lexus, Toyota, 
Y'all doing something legendary. All right, everyone. We have a 2008 Lexus LX 570 for 34000 You got three rows in this big boy, huh? You got the footsteps. Because, like, again, I say it's a SUV, keyless entry. All you got to do is just put your hand in, keep your hand in your pockets. It comes with Sirius XM. It also has an alarm system. Cream leather seats. Still in immaculate condition. Um, Pretty much everything you need, man. Still got the regular analog display. You got a screen here. Big boy screen. Uh, ventilation for the rear and the front. You also have the DVD set up right there. You got a sunroof. It's very, even though it's hot today, it feels pretty warm. It feels pretty cool in here for it to be 90 something degrees in Florida. And I love the wood grain to match the match the tone of the seats with your tan. Um, I love the stand wheel. Say, man, Lexus, man, they gonna keep winning. Look at all the leg room. Look at all the leg room. And look at this, man. Now, this is an eight-passenger vehicle. And if you look in the back, as you can see, they already got the rear seats folded down. You can take them out completely and just have extra cargo space. But that's dope, though. I'll fold the seats down just like that and put the groceries on top. This is a big boy, man. Straight gas guzzler V8. All right, y'all. I pretty much have been all over this dealership. And I done, I done pretty much looked at everything they had to offer, man. You got the 50th anniversary right there. Say 50 on the side. And then you got the LT1. LT1 with the Camaro brake calibers right there. To match the paint job. That orange is wet, man. Now that's a nice paint job. Obviously, somebody already owns this vehicle. I'm not going to show their tag, but it says it's a 6.2 liter LT1. You can't go wrong. They ain't got a sunroof, but this bad boy is fast. Got the paint job. I love the hood scoop. They should have put some flakes in that paint job. That's all they really needed. Maybe some fog lights, and they would have been A1. And then over here, it's a little dusty on this one. But as you can see, they got the big boy Brembo's on this one, too. 50th anniversary size skirts embedded in this one and see you can see the flakes the metallic flakes in this paint job i love their rear lights man if y'all can see that man they got the quad pipes this is a rs i love the dual stripes right here pretty much the same same spoiler setup as the lt1 these things sit low too cloth seats super fast vehicles man you can't go wrong with chevy because that's why i came here and i got me a chevy so this will actually be my next update this will be my next upgrade of a vehicle and you can see the difference in the grills as well too they look so aggressive that's the reason why you got to come to chevy and get you one i thank all y'all for tuning in for subscribing to the channel hitting that like button and supporting your guy man Cause this is life with OG and I'm doing it for you. You know what I'm saying? I might I might be out here reviewing a car and you might see something that you like. You might be in the Orlando area because right now I'm close to the airport. Right off of Semiron and Hoffner, I believe. I could be wrong. It, it might not be Hoffner. But if you Google Auto Nation Chevrolet by the airport, man, do me a favor. Just pull up and tell Ahmad. Tell him because he was my salesman. He was the one that showed me, sold me my Chevy. Tell him all, hey, Life with OG, a.k.a. SoundCloud OG. Refer me here, man. The dude with the blue, with the blue Air Force Ones, man. The custom Air Force Ones, you feel me? It don't get no better than that, man, and this is how we doing it. I'm going to be the first YouTuber out here in Orlando that's doing car reviews. And the only way we can go, just like CJ on 32 say, is up. So let's get it, y'all. Hit that like, hit that notification bell, and let's keep it moving, man. Because we're going to stay motivating each other. Let's get it.